Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome to the 5th of May. I turned the volume down. And today, I am a happy man. Oh man, I'm so happy. Oh, I just got it. Oh god. Oh, it's just my mic. Oh, mic's not sitting very well today. Oh, I'm a happy man. So yesterday, yesterday night, or yesterday afternoon rather, my, my new... A uh, Hapag HP PVR rocket came in the mail. Mm. So I spent the whole of yesterday setting the baby up. And uh, it is looking nice. Um, and I'm trying the, uh, the mode of recording where it doesn't actually need the computer. It just records directly to a, um, a USB thumbstick. Um... And my mic pl plugs directly into the Hapag. I'm actually using the um, Hapag that came with the PVR. Um, so we'll see how that... I, try, I did a couple of tests and it sounds quite a lot better than the other <coughs> line-in mic that I was using. Uh, if you remember my um, Raising Shinji playthrough, I used that line-in mic. And sometimes it has like a weird... It adds a weird effect to my voice. Like an echo -y effect. Uh, this one doesn't seem to do that, but I'll, I'll have to check the recording. Now, can you just make sure that I'm not muted? Yeah, I accidentally muted myself before when I tried to record. <laughs> so I'm doing this again. Um, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's great. The only downside about doing it this way uh, is the fact that you need to physically push the button on the device in order to record. So I've like stretched like that all the cables of the PlayStation out so that I can have it sitting like on the side of my uh, sofa so I can turn it on and off. Anyway, um, so I, I want you guys to let, make some comments about how the mic sounds, uh, if it's loud enough because during testing I wasn't sure if uh, maybe it might be too quiet for the, the game audio but I'll, I'll have to check that after I finish this recording. It's good. This is going to make my life so much fucking easier. Um, if I time the starting and ending of the video right, I, I don't have to do, like, any post-processing. I don't have to sync the audio. I don't have to, like... Oh, it's going to be great. Can't wait. So happy. The only downside is that I do need to transfer... Um, obviously, I have to pull out the USB and plug it into the computer. Copy it to the computer before I can upload it. Um, but the good thing about that is it, it means my, my laptop's just sitting there doing nothing. My laptop's like, just looking at me going, wait, what, what, what is this? Wait, what are you, who's this? Are you, are you cheating on me? Wait a minute. You've got a, you've got a new hog, you've got a new, a new PVR, but, but, don't you need a computer to record? Wait, are you, wait, are you saying you don't need me anymore? What is this? Are you, are you abandoning me? No, don't worry, computer. I'm just unpacking my computer right now. It's fine, computer. I still need you. I mean, I gotta get the files to you so you can put them on the internet. Alright? You're like the most important part. Without you, my videos are just sitting on a thumbstick and no one's gonna watch them. If you like that time back, um, uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the story. I, I should probably get on with the recording. For the people who actually care about the game and not me rambling on about my life, but that's kind of half of what this playthrough is. Um, when I was a wee baby kid, well, not a wee baby kid, um, when, when, uh, well, it, was, it wasn't before the internet, but I think it might have been before YouTube. When did, uh, when did YouTube come out? Was it, was YouTube out when, uh, Medical Solid 2 came out? Because I remember, Back in the day, I had my, P my PS2 hooked into my VCR, and then my VCR hooked into the TV. Because I only had one uh, uh, AV in port on my TV, so I took so I, and, and this way I could I could watch videos when I wanted to watch them. I could play the PlayStation when I wanted to watch them. I didn't have to get in there and move cables around. It was great. But an added side effect of this was the ability to record 
PS2 gameplay onto a VHS cassette. So I did that. I recorded a not necessarily a perfect playthrough, but a, a somewhat cinematic playthrough of uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, Metal Gear Solid 1 um, had like a like a demo theater where you could like watch all the cutscenes of the game, and for the gameplay bits, they would like have like these passages of text that you could read. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 was even better because it had um, like the full-on like demo theater where it just showed all the cutscenes. Except for like the like the the only other cinematic part of the game that's kind of missing is the um, the motorcycle chases. What I usually do is I make a save just before the Vulgan fight, just before you plant the C4. So you load the save, plant the C4, fight Vulgan, car chase, fight Jagerhood, car chase, fight the boss, and game. Oh, and then there's that stupid annoying part where you got to freaking carry bitch around. Oh, Ava, and she's all hungry and stuff, yeah. But uh, Metal Gear 2 didn't have, like, it had a demo theater, but it was, like, th like three or four cutscenes, and it wasn't, like, it wasn't, it wasn't what I wanted. I wanted, uh, sometimes I just want to watch the movie, all right? I don't want to play the game, I just want to watch the story. But you can't do that with Metal Gear 2. So I recorded the whole game, uh, trying to be, like, cinematic and flashy, onto a VHS. Um, and I ended up actually, um, lending that tape out to like a couple of my friends who kind of just wanted to watch the they just wanted to watch the cutscenes so it actually it honestly that video probably got more views than some of my fucking videos on youtube uh which is kind of sad um and uh yeah that was like that was i'm not i'm not saying that i invented let's playing uh i, I believe let's plays were invented by a, a man by the name of slow beef uh, though I think he, when he started, he wasn't doing videos, he was like blogging with screenshots and stuff. But yeah, back in the day, um, yeah, I was like doing, doing, I guess, Let's Plays, gameplay videos. Um, I just wasn't uploading them to the internet. So yeah. Uh, and it wasn't until like years later, Skyrim, when, uh, I had a TV adapter like in my TV, in my computer, like I've had it since for ages, but I just never like I've used it for all sorts of functions. I believe I no, I believe I did actually record uh, gameplay of I think it was uh, oh jeez um, second runner. That's right. Yeah, I recorded because um, I really like the music in. in um, it was only the end of second right now, so I recorded it, like, I think I recorded the whole game. I might have done other games too, but I, um, I then, like, transferred that using, I have like a, my parents have like a, an old stereo with like two cassette tapes in it, and it's hooked up to the TV, so if I played the video or the game that I had recorded of, of second right now, I could record the audio onto a cassette tape, and I'd listen to that in the car when I was driving. Friggin... Yeah. Low budget, man. But anyway. Yeah, but then I've had, I've had that... Yeah, I just... When I got into YouTube and started watching people do Let's Plays, I'm like... Yeah, I could do that. I talk to myself most of the time when I'm uh, playing games anyway. I might as well record it. So I... Uh, yeah. Plug my uh, Xbox into it and... Here we are. Well, see, back in the day, when I when I tried recording it at first, I'd have to watch the game on my PC. But the the Xbox 360, the um, the HD um, uh, component cables, if you put you know it is well, the the cable the a the video cables have both uh, the standard yellow, red, white cables and the HD and you can actually put both the yellow and the HD into two separate things so I'd put the yellow into the computer the AV the TV adapter um, and the audio no no the audio was on the TV that's right and then I'd have the HD guys into the um, uh, into the TV set the switch to SD mode instead of HD mode 
and it would, it would still show the image on the TV, albeit not quite as good quality, and it would also show through the computer. And then I'd had, I, I plug in speakers into the headphone jack of my TV, had the speakers right next to, uh, right next to me on the couch, so that the, the sound of the, the game audio was coming through on the microphone that I was talking on. You go back and you watch like the very first videos on my channel. That's what I was doing. That's that's how I was. It sounded like shit, and it looked like shit because it was SD as well. But I did it. I mean, that was that was my first attempt. I wasn't really sure if I was gonna like really get into it or not. I was just giving it a go. And uh, but yeah, but it, it worked out. And then I'm like, you know what? I should really get a HD recorder. That's when I got the Hapag. Fortunately, the Hapag just. Yeah, it's got that syncing issue, and now that I've got this bad boy, this rocket, yeah, I'm, I'm good to go now, I can stream now. I don't know if I'm really ever going to stream though, um, I might, I mean I could stream like my um, Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain FOB event runs, but it's not that interesting, it's just me repeating the same, like, invading the same FOB over and over again with almost the, the same pattern and same pathing just over and over again. It wouldn't be very interesting, but if you want to see it, I, I guess I can do it. I don't really have any plans for doing, like, playthroughs or anything on stream. I could, but I just don't have any plans right now. I'm probably not going to do anything until I get back from Tokyo anyway, which I'm going to next Monday. Or Sunday. Sunday night, I'm leaving. So, yeah. Yeah, right, let's play the game, shall we? Yes. Talked enough about my new HP. Oh, it's great. I love it. Just making sure I'm not muted. No, nope, you're not muted. Yeah, it's kind of annoying that there is a... I mean, it's good that there's a mute button on it, but there's a lock function that locks the, um... locks the volume, so you can't accidentally change the volume. I would appreciate it if it also locked the mute button. But, you know, whatever. Alright, anyway, let's, let's play the game. So, it's the 5th of May. Uh, it is Children's Day in Japan. Uh, Children's Day is a day of celebrating children. Uh, some of the things that people do on Children's Day, we, we buy, like, these giant carp flags that are really like big wind socks. Uh, except instead of a stupid wind sock, it's a cool little blue or white, so blue or red uh, carp design. And you sort of put them outside your house and it's just, you know, flies. Um, other things you can do is you can buy, um, like these sick-ass samurai helmets or samurai swords and display them in your house. Uh, I don't really have any of that stuff. I don't, I don't even have the flag. Um, I, I actually mistakenly thought that, uh, another thing is Hina dolls, where you have, like, Dolls that represent, like, members of ancient Japanese court, like, like, sh the shogunate or, or like, like, samurai sort of style. Uh, but that's actually not, uh, Children's Day, which is today, it's, um, Hinamatsuri, which is, like, girls, girls festival, which I think has already happened. I think that was in March. Whatever. Um... Did I... I didn't actually talk about what yesterday was. Yesterday was, uh... Greenery Day. No, I didn't mention that, did you? I did, yeah. Okay, fair enough. And today's the last day of the holidays, so I think we've got school tomorrow. It's the end of, end of Golden Week. Anyway, that's, uh, that's Children's Day. You decide to go somewhere you don't usually go. Uh, what do you mean? Where, where are we going? First... Hmm? Oh! Oh! I get to go to, I can go to Yasu, Yasu Station, the train station, that's where we start the game. And uh, shopping, well I don't want to go to this. Oh, the shrine! Oh, I can go to the shrine! Oh, I don't go to Juno's Grocery Department. Why would I want to go to Juno's Grocery Department? I know, you might want to, I'm just going to adjust the mic. Let's pull me... That probably sounds like you're ruffling up feathers now. Well, yeah, whatever. I need to get it closer to my mouth. No. Oh, God. What are you doing? I don't know. This isn't gonna work. No. This fucking mic. 
It sort of like clips to your collar, but it's so far away that I'm sort of bunching up my uh, shirt so that it's closer to my mouth. That's fine, whatever. Uh, I don't want to go to the grocery department, I want to go to the shrine. It says first, so we'll probably get to go to multiple places. True. We'll probably go to, we'll probably, you probably go to two places in one day. So what's the other place you want to go to? Um, I kind of want to go to the um, train station again. Okay. Whatever, let's go to the shrine, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm going to meet that fox. The kitsune. There's no one here. Dusty Shrine doesn't seem to be well maintained. What? I don't want to go home. Oh. Oh. He said someone's watching me. Ah, there he is. The fuck? Oh my god. Look at him. He's got like a scar on his eye. He kind of looks like Punished Snake. Look at him. He's got the bib on too. That bib, man. So, there's a lot of like statues and shrines and stuff. And they put like a little red bib, like a, a like a real bib, around the statue. And I don't, we don't quite know what it means. I I thought it meant that it was like a children's shrine for like dead babies or whatever, or fertility or something. But I don't know. I also don't know why the fox has it, but whatever. Holy shit! What a jump! Mysterious fox appears before you. He's got a... Oh, he's got one of those little, uh... Wooden, um... Tag things. I think I mentioned this in, when I talked about the Kyoto trip. Uh, you can sort of, like, write out, like, a prayer or wish or something onto it and tie it to, like, a, a board for, for good luck. Does it live at the shrine? Fox is staring at me. You notice an Emma plaque in its mouth. Oh, is that what they're called? Emma Park. Emma Park. Okay, Emma. You want me to have that boy? Or girl? I don't know what you are. Mysterious Fox nudges the Emma into your hand. It reads, Please help Grandpa's legs get better. Kato. The Emma has someone's wish written on it. Oh, okay. Why did the fox give this to you? Oh, is this a quest? Maybe. Upon closer inspection, you notice an unusually, an unusually shaped leaf stuck on the back of the Emma. Alright. You don't recognize this leaf from the local plant line. Is this also the work of the mysterious fox? Oh, oh, bye then. Oh, are you the grandpa? Oh, not every day you see youngins like you around here. Why is he American? I don't know. You mean, why is he from the south? Yeah. Nobody, no, he's a, he's a cowboy. Nobody lives at this here shrine. He's talking like a freaking hick. Nobody lives at this here shrine. I'm, he's gonna be old too. So like, I, I come back, to, I come back to tie things up once in a while. In a, in a while, I said that. But lately my legs are so achy, I just can't do it. I've been trying to get this place up to snuff, but there just ain't enough running to go around. Well, I suppose I'll pay my respects. If my legs don't heal, I can't maintain the shroud. That and I won't be able to visit Kato anymore. He's my grandson, you know? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, it's really easy to get redneck in this voice. So, okay, so he's Kato's granddad. So I suppose we help you then. I wonder if it could be the same Kato who wrote the Emma, obviously. The Emma says, please, I, I get it. Mm. What's that you got in your hand there? Could it be? That leaf, that's it. Oh, it's a healing leaf. Way back when, my grandmother always used to say a leaf shaped like that was the best kind of leaf remedy out there. There you go. Ah, what memories. Well, here, take it. But how'd you get your hands on this? I didn't think you could find those in the mountains anymore. But please, young man, can I trouble you to spare me that leaf? Yeah, take it, Dad. 
You gave the old man the lease that was stuck in the back of the air, mate. Oh, this is it. This is it. Now let's see here. Oh, he hasn't put it on yet. I thought it was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's good. Oh, that's nice. The old man stuck the leaf onto his leg. Oh, I can feel it. I had some work in. Oh, praise Jesus. Why is he praising Jesus at a Shinto shrine? That makes no sense. <laughs> Amazing! I've been healed! The pain I've been feeling for who knows how long, it just up and vanished! Mm -hmm. Well, I haven't feel better than this in years! You really hurt me out, old man, young man. You're young, yeah, you're a young man. I'm so grateful now I can visit my grandson! I better pay thanks to the shrine for bringing us together like this. Holy shit, holy shit, look at him go. He marveled the amazing results. Not only did he heal, but he restored his vitality. He's gonna go fuck his wife now. No oh, problem, man. Give him a, like, one year erection. Hey, the fox is all happy. The fox looked on from his hiding place with a contented expression. Seems to understand that the wish on the Emma has been granted. Well, no problem, Fox. What are you gonna give me? Oh. The fox is peering into the offering box as if to check its contents. Oh, you just want the money? That fox is really low. Look at its body. Yeah, it even seems to understand that the shrine has received an offering. Perhaps you were giving the Emma with the leaf for that express purpose. Okay. Yip! What the fuck is yip? What the hell is yip? That's not a fox sound. That's an English fox sound. Yeah, it's probably like a yip. Really? Japanese sounds like a uh, uh, gon. Gon, gon, gon. Which kind of sounds weird, I guess, when you think about it. But it's like, gong, 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 like that. Gong, gong, gong. It's kind of like a dog sound. Yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now. It seems he's taking a liking to you. Oh, that's cool. It has a mouth full of the same leaves as the one you gave the- Oh, cool! Healing items! We're gonna go to battle! Seems that the fox has a large stock of mysterious leaves with healing powers! Yeah! Oh, you're gonna give me unlimited healing items? Cool! There you go, you made the cool sound! Cool! But he just went, in English, Yep. Yep. <laughs> he looks so weird. Oh, he loves me. He's so happy. Look at his happy boy. Poor girl. Didn't he say... Didn't he say it was he before? No, I think it's always referred to it as an it. Uh, is there something it wants from you? You cannot help but think how strange an encounter like this is. As you realize, a fox is showing you a pile of leaves. Probably wants me to put money in the box. Feel a faint bond. Am I gonna ass link it? Oh my god, I got an ass link with a fucking fox! This is awesome! Yeah? What we got? Hermit! Uh, I guess that makes sense, yeah. He's kind of a solitary fox. Yeah, I can buy that. Yay! I got an ass link with a fox. Where does it find such amazing leaves? You reflect on how useful it would be to have this kind of help while exploring the other side. Well, well yeah. Yep. Oh, look at him go. Does it understand your thoughts? Come. Come. What the fuck is it doing? Fox just is just... Oh, it's doing like the... You know the, like, the lucky cat gesture, like the come here gesture? Oh. I'll forget services for a point. Wait, is he gonna... Is he gonna join my party? Is he like Kuomo? I... I'm not sure. <coughs> or... Yep. <laughs> Fucking yep. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll pay you money, dude. Join my party, yeah. 
Saves the mysterious foxes agreed to aid you in your exploration. Wait, what? So it, it's a party member now? However, it appears that it will require a feat for school pressure. Fine, dude, take all my fucking money. You turn the evidence right away. No, I don't want to join my party. Well, we're not going home, are we? Don't we have to go to another place? Okay, yeah. So we're going to go to another place, aren't we? It's getting late. So to go but what about? Then why did it say first? Aww. We went home. Come on. The prime suspect in yesterday's ATM robbery in northern Inaba was arrested earlier today. Oh, they got the, they got the ATM robber. Cool. The alleged thief is Pomena Sushin, a 26-year-old former employee of the company which reported the stolen vehicle. Pumena? Pumena? Pumena. That is... That is a weird name. That is possibly the weirdest Japanese name I've ever seen. Pumena. What a weird name. According to the police investigation, Pumena Sushin was... Was what? Home. Oh, Dad's just here. Oh, Nanako's. Oh, Nanako's excited. The dad's home. Thought you'd be all mopey. Ugh. How many days is he gonna call in sick? These rookies lately sure are. Welcome back. Oh, Nanako's happy. Wow. Man, Nanako's a fucking angel. That she could put up with her dad's bullshit that much. Nanako. I'm sorry I broke my promise again. Nah, it's fine. You're, I know you're a deadbeat. Oh, um, my big bro and his friends played with me instead. Yeah, because you're useless and you can't do your final duties. I see. Thanks. Pay me. Oh, that's a Juness bag. <laughs> what's in it? Oh, oh, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Probably a present for Nanako, maybe. Or food. I don't know. <laughs> Good eye. Well, today is Children's Day. Oh, Dojima remembered. Oh, you're redeeming yourself, Dojima. You're gonna buy her a cool present. So I brought you a present. Oh, Doge. Ah, I feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Oh, good job, Doge. You're doing a good job. You're still... You're still a dick for cancelling the holiday, though, but... Whatever. What do you got? What is that? Oh, Nanako's ecstatic. Is that... Wait, is that food? Is that a snack? What is that? Oh, a t-shirt. Oh, a t-shirt. Nanako's face and her voice doesn't really match. Her face is like, what the fuck is this? But her, her voice is like, oh wow, a t-shirt! Wowie zowie! What the fuck? <laughs> it took me a while to decide what to get you. You like it? What the fuck is that? Is that, a, is that an emu? No, not an emu. Oh, sorry, not an emu. Uh, uh, a kiwi. Is that a kiwi? What is that? It's a bird of some description. It's a stupid little bird t-shirt. I don't think Nanako really wants to wear that shit. Oh, Doge, you, you done fucked up. Damn it, Doge, you had one fucking job. You could have redeemed yourself, and now Nanako's gonna be a pissed off at you. Wow, there's oh. a picture on the front. <laughs> That's so funny. Yay. Yay. Oh my god, okay, well. Nanako, Nanako really is easily impressed. I guess she likes it. Okay, fair enough, Doge. Alright, I'll give that to you. Fair enough. I guess you, you know what you get your little daughter likes. I uh, sure as hell know that I wouldn't be happy to get a t-shirt like that. Stupid fucking shirt with a stupid kiwi on it. Fuck New Zealanders. No, that's not what I meant. I got you one too. Oh Not no. You're still a child or anything, but fair is fair. Uh, I am. I'm a. I'm still a child? Fuck you. Wait, it's not a shirt, is it? Oh no. What's it gonna be? 
What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? It's gonna be. It's gonna be an animal. It's gonna be. Not a frog. Not a rabbit. Not a cat. Could be, it could be a sick lion t-shirt. Hell yeah! I'll go for a sick lion t-shirt. Alright, I'm curious. What is it? What do you got? Oh. Oh, they're board shorts. With a stupid design. Uh. I want to ellipse him. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm, I'm, I'm ellipse him, you douchebag. What is this crap? What's the matter? It's the style right now, isn't it? They had a huge stack of them. That. Told you, man. Do you know how anything works? Just because there's a huge stack of something doesn't mean it's popular. It means that nobody wants to buy it. That's why there's a huge stack of them still there. You moron. What imbecile would think? Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. That must mean it's popular, right? Oh, it's the one that are sold out that are the popular ones. You Nimrod. Oh, thanks anyway, I guess. I thought you might need one soon. Why? Oh, summer? Well then, let's eat. I suppose I could go swimming. Okay. Yeah, I see some food. What'd you get me, Doge? Oh, Nanako's gotta go cook. Wait, I thought Nanako can't cook. No, she buys the, oh, the lunch boxes. Right, right, right. I had a pleasant evening with Dojima. Oh, is it gonna skip to the next day? Oh. No, it just faded off to black. For no reason. Okay. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I thought it was gonna, like, transfer over to the next day. Oh, uh, well, let's save the game anyway. What do you want to say? Uh, here? Yeah. Can you save twice for me, please? Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that I did, um. I did the friggin'. What's the name? Twice? The, the fishing minigame? I ever did it uh, again? Well, I had to do it again to do this recording. But I did it about, like,. I don't know, 10, 15 times before starting this recording uh, because I wanted to get an Inima trout. Unfortunately, I couldn't get two Inima in a row, but I got one Inima and then I don't know, I got like a goldfish, so I just got, ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> My shirt is a platypus. Oh, it's a platypus! Really? I kind of want to see it again. It doesn't really look like a platypus to me. So tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow is a day. It's a day of school. It's not a, it's not a holiday or anything. It's got to rain on Saturday and Sunday's off. Yeah. Well, Doge, you kind of redeemed yourself, but that still doesn't make up for the bullshit you did about getting Nanako's hopes up. And like, why didn't you, why didn't you freaking take her to Juness on Sunday? It's Mother's Day. Maybe, maybe she'll be happy. By the way, everyone, it's Mother's Day on Sunday. Don't forget to buy flowers for your mum. Oh, oh, I like how if you look, if you walk away, he looks back at his newspaper and he doesn't look at him, he walks to you. Now look at your newspaper, now back to me. Now look at your newspaper, now back to me. Back to me. Look into my eyes. Oh, look in the fridge. Oh, God damn it, the dried up pickle's still there. I keep forgetting to not eat it. Yeah, whatever. Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna go fishing. Yeah. Because I want to get, I want to get another end of a trout. And even if I don't get it in this recording, I'm just gonna go back and do it more until I get it. Because I want an end of a trout. <laughs> yeah, no. I want to get that freaking club. Yeah, I gotcha. Right, let's see what we'll get. Alright, don't fuck this up now. I noticed another thing that uh, every time you do this, it uses like a bait. And I know you can get more bait if oh shit. I know you can get another bait if you um do what have we got? Oh fucking goldfish. Use this fucking fish. 
Um, I know you can get more bite by... You can get, you can get bite from the dude, can't you? The fishing guy, yes you can. You can also get bait uh, if you make your own lunch. And I believe there's one other way to get bait, but I don't remember how. Um, but yeah, like, even if, if you got five attempts in one go, you got to run out of, um, bait, like, really quickly. So, just because you've got, like, a whole bunch of attempts doesn't mean you're going to get what you want. you just got to run out of bait. <laughs> it's true. I'm going to try again, because I really want that fucking little trout. One. Come on. Let's go. Come on, bitch. Get that shit in. I'm pretty sure hitting those uh, QTEs don't actually mean anything. Because sometimes I. Oh! Ah, fuck you, Genji Ayu. That's not what I wanted. Um. If you, if you don't actually do any of the QTEs and just mass circle, you usually get the fish anyway. The QTEs just like give you a big, like if it's a really, it takes a long time for it to come in, it sort of like skips a bunch of like mashing, which is still useful. I'm tired, time to go home. Uh, well, it's got to transfer over to the next day. All right, so that's the fifth done. Uh, so hopefully this recording came out all right. Um, where are we? Why is he going so slow? Yo! Oh, uh, whatever. Um, uh, yeah, where is this? I don't know, it's on the way to school somewhere. Um, so, let me know in the comments, uh, if the mic's good or not. And, and if the levels are good. I could, uh, record to the PC and I can adjust game levels. Because usually I crank the game levels, like, way down. But, you can't do it with, the uh, with, like, if you're doing it directly to the USB. Uh, you can just like turn your mic volume up. It does have a mic boost thing, but if you turn that on, it just like blows the shit out of the microphone. It doesn't sound good at all. So I'm not actually gonna do that. Um, all right. Good, good hustle. Oh, I'm so happy that I got a new fucking device. Cause the moment I push the button again, that's it, video's done. And I don't have to do anything with it. I just have to upload it straight to YouTube. Man, that's so fucking convenient. Yes, it is. Alright, well, I'll see you next... Oh, tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of Persona. But until then, my name is Leo, and I'll see you next time.